Hello, I'm Dr. John Feller. I'm the Chief Medical Officer for Halo Diagnostics. And I like to talk to patients out there, especially men, with regard to a new type of biopsy of the prostate gland to detect prostate cancer. In the past, the standard of care had been a random transrectal ultrasound-guided biopsy. The problem with the old way of doing it is that up to one-third of prostate cancers were missed because of the random nature in which the biopsy is performed. Now, if a patient has an elevated serum PSA, which is the screening blood test for prostate cancer, and they undergo the new type of MRI of the prostate, a multiparametric MRI, if we see a suspicious abnormality, rather than doing a random biopsy, we do what's called an MRI-targeted biopsy. This can be done two ways. One way is called an in-bore MR-guided biopsy. This is a biopsy that's done by a radiologist inside the MRI unit using MRI pictures to target the suspicious area. The other way to do it is done by urologists, where the urologist actually fuses the images from the prostate MRI with real-time ultrasound inside the urologist's office, and that fused set of images is used to do a targeted biopsy of the suspicious area. This technique, using the MRI to target the biopsy, increases the number of clinically significant prostate cancers that we detect and decreases the number of clinically insignificant prostate cancers that we detect compared with the old random transrectal ultrasound-guided biopsy. The other advantage is that the Gleason score, which is a measure of how aggressive a prostate cancer is, is the most important marker for determining the prognosis and therapy of a prostate cancer patient. The old transrectal ultrasound-guided biopsy gets the Gleason score incorrect in 30 to 40 percent of patients. Using MRI to target the biopsy, the Gleason score is obtained incorrectly in only 5 percent of the cases. So not only does the MRI improve the detection of clinically prostate cancer, it also improves the characterization of that cancer by giving us a much more accurate Gleason score, helping to get a better picture of your prognosis and exactly what type of therapy that you need.